muli po, magandang umaga sa lahat ha. So ngayon pong araw na ito, ang atin naman pong i-discuss ay uh, Solutions of Systems of Linear Equation in Two Variables So, before we proceed to our lesson So kindly like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel So in the solution of subsystems of linear equation to variables so we are going to get or solve a system of linear equation into variables by graphing substitution and by elimination and solve problems involving systems of linear equation into variables in your previous lesson you find an ordered pair that satisfy the given equation into variables right so yung point na tawag nating solution set and this ordered pair is called the solution of the equation since it is a line all the points within the line are said to be a solution of the equation however in a system of equations you are looking for a unique ordered pair that will satisfy both equations through groups that ordered pair is the coordinate of the point of intersection the points the point is a, is the solution of the systems of equations or the system of equation may one solution no solution or infinite or many solutions okay so this is our test one which of the following graphs has one solution no solution or infinite solution okay so once again when we say a system of linear equation system of linear equation plus ting tinatawag natin two or more equations okay so that is two or more equations so we have another um, activity or example for that graphs okay so for example so state the state the solution of the systems whose graphs are given so for number one since uh, as you can see so that is intersecting lines and that is uh, also a perpendicular line so it creates a uh, 90 degrees or right angle but uh, if we said that uh, kung ilan yung solution nito, so there is one solution because that is intersecting lines. Okay? Then um, for number 2, so there we have two equations, the two lines are parallel. So therefore, since they are parallel, so we have no solution set for this uh, system of linear equation. Okay? Then for number 3, so we have uh, two equations uh, at ito yung tinatawag natin coinciding lines okay so coinciding lines so nag overlap sila and this uh, is uh, we call that as uh, infinite solutions or many solutions then for number 4 since that is uh, intersecting lines also for number 5 intersecting lines so they are both uh, one solution so, klaro po tayo dyan. Okay? So, let us proceed to our uh, lesson. So, in our lesson class, uh, so we can solve uh, the system of linear equations by graphing. So, for example, we have, uh, for number 1, graph the equation in coordinate plane, which is negative 2x plus y equals 2. And negative x plus y equals negative 1 okay so as you can see ito po yung ating graph ah. so dinaanan na po natin last time kung paano tayo mag graph so pinakamadali yung ating uh, uh, what you call this uh, general equation okay so atin muna siyang i -re -re write into slope intercept form para mas madali tayo makapag graph okay and then, so the two lines intersect uh, in a point of uh, 3, 4, which is the solution set. So to the system of uh, 
equations. So, ito po yung ating solution set. That is negative 3 po. If we solve, uh, if we substitute negative 3 to the positive uh, our value of x and yung negative 4 to the y, so we have positive 2. So, that is a neg uh, positive 6 and then positive 4 or negative 4. So, if we combine, so that is positive 2. Same as dito sa ating second equation. So, it will become positive 3 and then negative 4. Then combine, so it will become negative 1. So, both sides are equal to negative 1. So, therefore, the solution set is correct. Let us have another example. Okay. So, for example, plus... Okay. So we are going to graph the systems and state whether it has one solution, no solution, or many solutions. So for number one, we have a negative 3x or positive 3x. So 3x plus 2y equals 12. And then the other, other equation is x minus 2y equals 4. Okay? So, yan. So, once again, so ito yung ating uh, whiteboard. Uh. So, once uh, ating first equation, if we re rewrite it in the uh, slope-intercept form, so it will become, I rewrite muna natin ha. So, 3x plus 2y equals 12. So, 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 12. Okay? And then, divide both sides by 2. So, therefore, y is equal to negative 3 over 2 and plus or plus 12 divided by 2. So, we have 6. So, therefore, yung ating y-intercept dito ay 6. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ito yun na na. So, ito yung 0, 6. 0, 6 na. And then, to get the second point, we have 1, 2, 3. And then, going to the to, to the left, kasi negative siya. So, 1, 2. So, dito po yung ating second point. Then, connect the two points. Okay? So, yan. So, ito yung graph ng 3x plus 2y equals 12. Okay? And then, on the on second equation naman... So, sa second equation, so we have negative 2y equals negative x plus 4. Then, divide both sides by negative 2. So, cancel na yun. So, y is equal to 1 half x. So, magiging positive na siya. Kasi, magiging positive na siya. It's because negative divided by negative is positive. So, that is 1 half. Okay, 1 over 2. Then, 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So, therefore, ang ating y-intercept ay negative 2. So, we have 1, 2. So, dito yun. So, 0, negative 2. Okay? Then, to get the second point, so, move tayo dito and then move time pataas, rise over run then 1, 2 so dito yung ating second point then connect the two points so connecting the two points so we have ok so ito yung ating second equation which is x minus 2y equals 4 ok so, x minus 2y equals 4. Now, so intersecting, uh, intersecting uh, uh, sila, lines, ano? 
and the, the point of intersection as you can see is 4 0 so ito yung tinatawag nating solution set so solution set that is 4 0 so therefore the, this is one solution so one solution lang siya now so let us check if the solution set is correct so checking checking tayo class so the first equation is 3x plus 2y equals 12 and then ang value na ang ating x ay 4 so that is 3 times 4 plus 2 times the value of y is 0 diba? for 0 so 0 equals 12 3 times 4 is 12 then 2 times 0 is 0 and the other side is 12 so therefore both sides are equal to 12 okay so therefore the solution set is correct for 0 okay so for 0 yung ating solution set how about the second equation so this is the first equation and then the second equation let us check if the solution set is correct so we have uh, x minus 2y equals 4 okay so once again the value of x is 4 so 4 minus 2 times 0 which is the value of y okay equals 4 so we have 4 minus negative 2 times 0 is 0 then the other side is 4 so we have now 4 is equal to 4 so both sides are equal to 4 so therefore the solution set is correct okay so yun ang ating we have one solution okay so intersecting lang siya so klaro pa dahil dyan yung class okay so pwede nyo yung screenshot para ipo yung ating sagot okay now so let us uh, have another example okay okay Okay, so we are solving a linear system using graphing. Okay, so, so for our second example, so we have 5x minus y equals 10. So once again, let us uh, draw the rectangular coordinate system so y axis and x axis so we have 5x minus y equals 10 then the second equation is x plus y equals 2 okay so here here now our whiteboard okay now so, once again, the first equation, let us rewrite it in the slope intercept form. So, we have negative y is equal to negative 5x plus 10. And then, multiply both sides by negative 1 para ma-eliminate natin yung negative 1 na coefficient ng y. So, we have positive y and then it will become now 5x plus r minus 10. Magiging negative 10 na siya. Okay? How about the second equation? So, the second equation, we have y is equal to negative x plus 2. So, madali na. So, slope of the line is 
negative 1. Okay. Now, so dito naman ang slope of the line ng ating first equation ay positive 5. So, 5 over 1. Ito naman, negative 1 over 1. Okay. So, the first equation, ang ating uh, y-intercept ay negative 10. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, ito yun. Negative 10. Okay? And then, to get the to get the second point, so, rise over 1, which is 5 over 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, papunta tayo ng right ah, kasi positive siya. So, therefore, ito yung ating graph. Okay? So, yun. And then, ah, on the second equation, we have ah, the second equation is the slope of the line is negative 1. So, ito yun, Negative 1. And then, yung ating Ik ang ating ano ang ating slope of the line are this ah wait our uh, our ano our y intercept is 2 so dito yon 1 2 so dito yon 2 and then our slope of the line is negative 1 so 1 then 1 so ito yung ating second point okay and then, connect the two points. Okay. So, as you can see, the point of intersection. So, once again, ito yung ating graph ng 5x minus y equals 10. Then, ito naman ang graph ng x plus y equals 2. And the point of intersection is 2. 0 to 0 so the solu we have one solution okay so one solution siya na one solution lang okay so 2 0 yung ating solution set solution set is 2 0 now let us check for the first equation we have 5 times 2 minus 0 equals 10. Substitution. Ano? Substitute the value of x and y. So, we have now 10 minus 0 is equal to 10. So, 10 is equal to 10. Both sides are equal to 10. So, the solution set is correct. And then, for the second equation, we have 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. So, both sides are equal to 2. Okay. So, therefore, the solution set is correct. Okay. So, ganun lang po kung paano mag-graph ng system of a linear equation. Okay. So, napakadali, uh, napakadali lang po. Okay. So, yun lang po. Once again, para tayo madaling makapag-graph, i-rewrite muna sa slope-intercept form. Or pwede rin naman mag-assign kayo ng values ng x and y. Then, connect the two points. Then, oh, basta mag-graph lang po kayo. Makukuha nyo na yung ating intersection lines, intersecting, kung siya ay parallel or coinciding. Okay? So, once again po, maraming salamat. Sana po ay nakatulong itong aking nightling video para pag pagkuha ng solution ng linear systems. Okay, so once again, don't forget to subscribe and like our video.